Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Every Friday, I answer your questions here in this Q&A series. This is already episode number 20. That means 20 episodes since 20 weeks, I do every Friday answer your questions. So why do I say this? Number one, celebrate 20 episodes Q&As. But also, if you are new to the channel, a lot of the questions in depth, I will answer in those Q&A series because every Friday, I answer like to five, six, seven, sometimes even nine questions. And on the thumbnail, I can't even put everything that I answer into the thumbnail. There. So definitely if you are new to the channel, check out the series. There's a complete playlist on this channel here just with the Q&A stuff. So let's start with the first question for this week. He's basically asking that since he uses an external monitor and he's using Stage Manager, when he uses DaVinci Resolve on the Stage Manager, he never can extend DaVinci Resolve to the maximum. Is that just a problem with him or is it DaVinci Resolve? And my answer is simple. It is DaVinci Resolve. It doesn't, it's not optimized yet to that you can drag it out. The way you can use an external monitor, because he is using the free version, if you have have the studio version and I have a video here on my channel about the studio version and external monitor to definitely check that out but when you have the studio version you can have a video clean feed out so you can come into DaVinci Resolve and then for example somewhere here on the viewer just right click if you are in the edit page cut page it works everywhere you can right click now I'm not connected to an external monitor but if you do that you can then show your viewer window on the external monitor and then you can basically drag this one here up and you have more real estate for your timeline on the iPad and then you see all the stuff on the external monitor. This is one of the reasons why upgrading to the studio version could be worth it. I definitely upgraded because of lots of reasons. Can I use DaVinci Resolve iPad on iPad Air 4? When you come to the App Store here and you look for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, if you scroll down, you will find here a list with all of the supported iPads. So if I go through this list, I see here iPad Air 3rd generation, iPad Air 4th generation. So the answer is yes. DaVinci Resolve on the iPad also works on the iPad Air 4th generation. But keep in mind, if you don't have the iPad with M1, or M2, there are some features who are limited with the older versions. And a month ago, I made a video, that one here, Relight and Death Map is missing. So we had Relight and Death Map when it came out with the 18.5, but then later it was missing, especially also on my iPad, because now what they actually did is even if you have an M1 or M2, if you don't have the one terabyte option or higher, because starting with the one terabyte, you also have 16 gigabyte of RAM. Everything below, so even my one, has only eight gigabytes of RAM. And they realized that the Relight feature and the death map feature, the effects are so heavy that they only work on the 16 gigabyte version. So that means even if you have an M1 or M2, but not with the 16 gigabyte RAMs, then some of the features are still missing. There is a document from Blackmagic that shows all of the different features in which version. If you come to this video here, I linked this uh, one document and you can look it up. Is this the base variant iPad or higher? Huh. That, that fits the first question. So what kind of iPad am I using? Since the beginning, since I started my whole series here on DaVinci Resolve on the iPad on YouTube, my iPad is from 2021. This is the M1 11 inch with 256 gigabytes. I'm fine with this. All the things that I do for YouTube are working properly. It's good. It's nice. Of course, maybe in the future, it will upgrade to a 12.9 inch because of more real estate. But I really like the 11 inch iPad for traveling purpose. The reason why is because if you have the magic keyboard and the pencil and even the 11 inch iPad is so heavy, same like a MacBook Air. And MacBook Air is actually lightweight, more lightweight than this combo. So if you even get the 12.9 inch, it's more heavy. But I get the point. If you're working in DaVinci Resolve, the bigger screen is actually nicer to have. The same guy commented twice on the two videos, but basically asking the same. How did you change the waveform style into HDR? Hi, can you make a video to enable HDR scopes in the iPad DaVinci Resolve? That is actually super simple. If you come here to DaVinci Resolve and you open the color page, and let's assume this was my project with the HDR videos, and I have my scopes open here, waveform. And now I want to see all of the brightness, the nits. How can you change this? And this is super simple. You come up here to the three dots, and if you click the three dots, you will find here waveform scale style. You have 10 bits, 12 bits, and so on and so on. And if you come here to HDR, then you have all the brightness inside of the waveform as well from the HDR videos. Let me re-amp my previous question. May I know, do I misunderstand something else? Why I record a video in Blackmagic Camera app and end up clip would become fast forward clip even though I output it to the photo app. For that, I have the camera app. I couldn't recreate what you did, but let's do this together. I have my camera app open here. So important to notice is on the top left corner, you see the frames. I'm recording now with 24 frames because I like that because it's cinematic. So if I record now and I make this video, here, boom, 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 yes. 
So now this video will end up here in the media storage, not directly in the photo storage. So I can come in here and see my last clip. It's that one. And if I share it now to my save videos, and if I come now back to my photos app, you will see here's the video, but I don't have the same problem that you have. And even if I come back in here to information, it will even show me it saw the 4k and the 24 frames. So that is fine. So why is your video playing fast forward? First of all, I don't really know, but what it could be is if I'm coming back to the black magic app, definitely make sure and check all of your settings here. Maybe you change some of the settings to a faster frame weights or whatever. And then the app is basically just fast forwarding that. I don't know. Definitely check that. I don't have the issue. Let me know what kind of settings you were using that were not right. In my case, it is working fine. That's also a question for the community. Guys, if you work with the camera app from Blackmagic, do you have any problems there with the frame rates and speeding up or not speeding up? Please let me know. I couldn't recreate this issue. My one is working just fine. Yeah, and that's it for this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. If you have questions about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, please let me know your questions here. And next Friday, I will answer them. And I wish you an amazing weekend ahead and see you in the next video. I'm Daniel. And if you like the series and the DaVinci stuff, consider a like, subscribe and ding-a-ding -ding in the bam-bang-gong and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.